Now, secondary worlds are a concept related to computer gaming, and we'll explore how we can utilize um, secondary worlds in computer gaming. But they started out from a work by J.R.R. Tolkien, who developed the stories of Middle Earth um, that was seen in the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies, and before that, the books. Um, but essentially, he, he was very interested in creating new languages. That was his passion and um, what he spent his career as, as a professor. And he was exploring the use of languages in various cultures, particularly the English culture and the concept of myth. And as part of that, he theorized that we create various mythical worlds in which to um, have imaginative narratives. So he created his mythical world of Middle Earth with religions and locations and maps and peoples and languages, primarily so that he could contextualize the languages he was generating. And he wanted to explore what the world would be like in which those languages would be used. So this concept was then developed in his storytelling, originally through The Hobbit and then through the Lord of the Rings trilogy, where he set various narratives within this mythical world. And he described it as a secondary world. So we live in the primary world and we utilize concepts and ideas from the experience we have of the world in creating imaginative worlds that have a fair bit of relationship to the primary world, but are distinct. So they can have other races like elves and dwarves and orcs and things of that nature. They can have monsters. They can be set in different lands and have um, different um, social structures and terrains and civilizations. They'll have relationships with the primary world but they'll be fundamentally different. They're what is called a um, sub-creation. So they were created by the author as a secondary world in which to explore ideas and create narratives and stories within this world. Now, they don't have to be based on the Earth. Um, we have secondary worlds based on the Star Wars trilogy, for example, or the Star Wars movies or universe, as it's called a range of different planets populated by different alien species and have various political machinations and wars and robots and all of the rest that allow various narratives to be told within that world. Now, what's special about secondary worlds is that others can come along and add to this creation. They can create their own stories and narratives set within this world. And they can go beyond the original narrative and the original framing of the author um, to add new characters, new locations, um, new races, new political arcs and stories and religions and so forth. So this concept of secondary worlds and sub-creation can be then utilized when we start exploring its use in games. Of course, we see that widely used in literature originally where we have the stories such as um, the Narnia series by um, uh, Lewis and the Tolkien series of Middle Earth and the Star Wars universe, the, um, the Batman series that emerged out of comics. And so we can see it coming out of various literature forms, um, also through comic books. They tend to create uh, these fantasy worlds. There's known as the DC universe and the Marvel universe where various movies and comics originally, um, have been set. And then we also have um, it being expressed in television and movies. A lot of um, TV series and movies. But what's what makes it special, rather than just being a fictional location, is that it has a whole backstory universe. Um, it has various lands and geographical spaces, various political groupings, um, a whole history, sometimes an entire religion and religious processes. And these allow stories to be set within this space, 
Now, no one story will encompass the entirety of these um, secondary worlds, but multiple stories can be set within these um, places and multiple authors can write stories and set them within these locations. And that's what differentiates it from just a fictional setting. It creates a cohesive secondary world that we can do what's called suspend disbelief. We can pretend that the world actually exists. Now we know it really doesn't exist, but for our purposes of narrative storytelling, we can pretend that it exists and set stories within that space and explore different ideas and concepts um, that may have some relevance to the primary world. So this is the concept of secondary worlds and we'll explore this in the tutorials.